Hello and welcome to Tutorials, I am Tan and today we'll be in After Effects making this cool little title sequence. So the lines come on, then the title's revealed. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is a very simple title sequence using just shapes, masks and texts. Texts? Text. So, let's go into our project, create a new comp and you can call it whatever. I've got mine in a set of 10 seconds and uh, quite a small frame size just for the tutorial so it renders fast. Now we're going to uh, zoom out, right click, create new solid and we'll call this BG for background and we'll make it a sort of simple green colour and then we'll go uh, effect generate ramp and we'll make it a radial ramp with this first point up here in the middle-ish and this one just dragged out here somewhere and we'll have the start colour our original background colour so using the colour picker and then we'll do the same, select the same colour then just come in here and make it darker. Okay, looking good. Now we can just lock that layer, and we're done. Again, right-click, new solid, and this time we'll make it blue. And we'll call it line. And then using your selection tool, click and just drag down on the top point and make it a thin line. Okay, and then we're going to double click on our box uh, square tool, rectangle tool even, <laughs> and get a mask up and make sure with our selection layer again selected, just select it and oh, with mask selected, just drag and select those two points. So those are filled in and those aren't. And then just click, drag, and then push down shift to make sure it doesn't go off at any odd angles. Because if you don't, it'll go off like that. And that's not what we want. So we can just drag it back off to the back there. Okay. And then with masks, toggle your drop down menu and click mask path keyframe stopwatch thing. And we're going to drag it two seconds forwards in the comp. Select our uh, two points again. Drag, hold down shift to the end, just like that. So we've already got our first simple animation. But what I want to do is select those two, right click, keyframe assistant and easy ease in. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. A nice and simple line coming on to the stage thing. Okay, and what we're going to do, we're going to hit Control or Command D to duplicate it. And I'll just bring my timeline thing Time indicator, that's the one, out a bit so we can see the lines. And then we're just going to use, with that line selected, we're going to use our arrow keys to push it up, get, leaving a little bit of a gap in the middle there. And again, Control or Command D, duplicate it, Oop. and push it up. Oops. And try and get them the same distance apart. Good. Now, all we need to do is sort of offset each of these lines just by a little bit so they start one after the other and end one after the other. Good. And now I'm going to select these two uh, the three sorry go layer, pre-compose and we'll call this lines two, uh, two because I've already got a lines comp from the original. And hit OK. So there we go we've got our first main part done. Awesome. And now what we're going to do now is mark where the last one ends. So just around here, make sure there's nothing selected and hit the little star key on your keyboard to put a little marker point there. And that will help us to start our next set of lines. So we're going to hit Control or Command D to duplicate. Drag this along so it starts from the second point there. So there you go. Okay. And in fact, we'll hide this here. 
and now with that layer selected go layer transform and flip horizontal so it flips around just like that so it comes out the other side cool and now we can show that layer again and with our type tool type whatever you want I'm typing tutorials uh, exclamation mark uh, make it big okay center it up ish I'm not being picky and we'll drag it in between those two layers next toggle switches and modes so you can see your track mat and go track mat alpha mat lines 2 so it's sort of using this as a mask so now as you can see it masks on so this is what we've made so far if we give it a RAM preview looking good Okay, now we're going to do the same again except this time we're going to go right click new solid and we'll make it a pink solid or pinkish using sort of pastel colours at the moment for this little colour scheme and we'll call this also a line there we go and double click oh, no before we do that uh, make sure you drag down to get it a thin line you can if you want make it the same as your other lines by using your mouse wheel or the zoom here or your zoom tool just zooming in and then dragging it so it fits covers the whole uh, blue line from that point to that point okay so you're just dragging it cool zoom out and uh, you can we'll click and drag this time so click hold down shift and drag down so it doesn't jump out really badly like that if you hold down shift it will move it at angles of 45 degrees and drag down roughly in between the two bottom ooh, it's quite blunt <laughs> and um, bottom of the comp and bottom of the top title and again we can go double click on your mask select those two drag to the end and then from the beginning, I'm going to toggle down, keyframe the mask path, two seconds. There you go. Select those two points, shift and drag, or drag and shift, sorry, to the edge. So we've got, whew, nice. Select them, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease in. And there we go. Now, what we want to do is find out where our title first finish well right is coming near to finish so I think just around there is good and we can start it from this point here okay again hit control or command D to duplicate it and uh, move it along to where that one's finished so there and then go layer transform flip horizontal and there you go type tool again Oops, control T for your type tool and type whatever you want to sort of type uh, and there you go title safe up zoom in and try and center it up a little bit it's good and let's get rid of this title safe push it up uh, how about cool and again we can just drag it to start here for example wherever as long as it starts before this point because it doesn't really matter drag it in between the two track mat alpha mat that line and let's have a look and there is our final comp looking rather cool